crossing over to our ancestors tonight. I want to say crossing over to our ancestors tonight. We're going to talk about curses and hexes. I have the ancestral spirit with me tonight. I went all the way to bring the ancestral spirit with me tonight. And I want to share with you, I say, I say I have an ancestor. We are family. We are from the race of human race. So we are family. We don't want you to let the devil ride neither. I want you to get up and be involved in what we're doing today. Don't let the devil ride tonight. This is Bishop Turner. I'm your host tonight. And we're talking about curses and hexes and what make a curse, what make a hex. And why is so much going on around where I got my ancestors? I brought them with me and the angel Michael. And some of the angels uh, is in the studio with me tonight. And I don't want you to let the devil ride. Because I want to take back everything the devil got tonight. I want to take back your health. Take back your wealth. Don't let him ride. And he want to take over. Don't let the devil ride. He'll give you cocaine. He'll give you crack. He'll give you whiskey. He'll turn the fear away from you. And I want to say that tonight. And I got a, a prophet Diane coming on tonight from Canton. And those that are on YouTube can go to YouTube and see me on YouTube tonight. I'm doing a sermon cast. And uh, Sister Des, if, if you want to see Des, uh, I want you to uh, go to YouTube. You'll see her. She's standing here with me tonight. And I want to tell uh, Peaches, your grandma is with me if you want to see her. And... You can see her tonight, but you got to go to YouTube. She's standing up here with me. Many of your people are standing with me tonight because I, and I asked them to come to stand with me. And I'm going to work them in a minute when I told them to come with me and told them to stand with me. Turning this stuff around. Don't do it, don't do it. Mm. It's Archangel Michael, that's the rooster, which is the family, that's the Ark of the Covenant, and that's the pyramid, open up the door. Mm. Keep them away from you and don't let them block you as you come tonight, as I talk to you tonight. Uh huh. You weren't ready for crossing over with the ancestors tonight. Well, we're crossing over with the ancestors tonight. And I want to tell you, we're moving in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. Now, you can't let the devil ride, but we're going to take everything the devil stole from you. Tonight, we're going to take it back. And I want to tell Peaches, I want to tell your mother, I got Des here with me. If you go to YouTube, you can see her. Yes, she's right here with me. And I've been talking to her, and she's been telling me some things, but I'm talking to a whole lot of people in the spirit world tonight. Because this is Bishop trying to cross over with our ancestors. Maybe you got a question you want to ask a loved one. Somebody passed on, you want to ask them something. I got Archangel Michael with me tonight. And I got uh, Gabriel with me. And Gabriel is a, a real tall black angel dressed in white. I got him with me. And I also got Metatron. 
and Metatron, he appeared to the house. He just come through the walls. He's just that kind of spirit. So I got Metatron with me tonight. And I'm calling some spirit forces to you tonight. I'm, I'm going to say tonight that I'm calling some spirit forces to you tonight. But I want to say, say with me, say in the power of the almighty God, I'm taking back everything the devil stole. I'm taking it back by the power of the Holy Ghost and the power of the God because the Bible said all the silver, all the gold belongs to God. And if you're a child of the king, you can take back what the devil stole from your ancestors, what he stole from your mama, your grandmama. You take it back and you become uh, the, the heir to it. God told Abraham, I'm going to bless your seed, and I'm going to make your father many nations. So the seed, the blessing of Abraham is on you. The healing on you, the deliverance on you, is on you tonight. So as I come across over our ancestors, the reason I can do this with our ancestors, they come and talk to me and tell me, Bishop, uh, what happened with the hurricane? We told you. Well, I told them of what y'all told me. So I told them about what's going on. But we want to take back everything that's been bothering you tonight, your healing, your deliverance, your breakthrough. We want to take it back by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, I want you to read Psalms 119. I want you to get ready for this month to be a blessed month for you. We had a... a uh, we had the hurricane down in in uh, Houston, and all down through there, Beaumont, Texas, and Louisiana. Then we had all over Miami, all over Florida. We had that, but I had prophesied that in December. I say, I say, and I want to tell you, we're standing on the back of our angels. We're standing on the back of our ancestors. And I want you to know I'm reversing some things tonight for you. I'm reversing east, west, north, and south. And I'm breaking some things up. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm declaring your healing tonight by the power of the almighty God. And I want to take back what the devil stole from you. Yeah, you don't know he stole it. But we're going to take back tonight. And I want to tell you. Some of you are doing bad. You don't know why. It's because a curse has been put on you. Or, or somebody put a spell on you. And you've been cursed. But I want to take the curse off of you tonight through your ancestors. I say, I say, I want death. And I want you to take the curse off of your family, your daughter, your granddaughter, your great-granddaughters. And any evil that's been done to them tonight, I say, I say, I want Prophet Ann to come and take the curse off of Regina. And I know you can do it. You in the queue with me, I say, I say. As I'm looking, I want to tell you, I, I want to let you know tonight as I get ready for a blessing for you, it's a door open up. I want to go to the spirit realm tonight. And I come with the ancestor to guide me to the spirit realm. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. And when I come to the spirit realm, I open doors up in the spirit realm. So as I open the doors up in the spirit realm, I call the forces of the Almighty God to come and guide us where you might have knowledge and the healing. I told you that Abaddon was walking uh, that hurricane and many people gonna be get many people was killed but many more was killed after they hit uh, Florida but I told you that because it was a curse put on Florida by run by uh, uh, running mode uh -huh. uh, it was a curse put on on, 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 on Houston Texas Y'all looking at what the curse put on. And this curse, I'm going to tell you about this curse tonight that these people that put the curse 
on Houston, and they put the curse on Pensacola, Florida also, and really all of Florida because of what was done back in the day. Now, you're looking funny at me tonight, but I'm saying I want to take back all the devil spoke from you personally, but the curse has already been laid down, and you have you seen the curse, the devastation of the curse of what's been done. Curses, hexes, jinks, and witchcraft. Hello. So I'm going to tell you tonight some of the stuff that been going on all the way from Africa, all the way from Egypt. These come to bring power. I'm standing in the seat of our ancestors' power. I'm to look. Because as you look on this, you will get a healing. As you look on this, any cancer, any condition is moving off of you. If it been as you look tonight on this what I'm holding in my hand, it's gonna break the witchcraft, it's gonna break the curse that's been put on you on the job, the curses of alcohol and drugs. I brought this to you tonight to move every curse, every condition. I say, I say, our ancestors, our ancestors that come from the east, that come from the west, that break all curses and hexes that have been put on those people. I say, I say, I say, I say. So I want to let you know the energy of our ancestors in the room with me tonight. And being in the room with me tonight, uh, they want to reveal some stuff to you. But I want to take back tonight for five minutes. I want to take back what was stolen from your grandma, your great grandma, who was stole where you was born. Some land was stole. I want to take back your mind was stole. Your activity was stole. But I'm taking it back. And I heard Jahi was telling me about uh, slave politics, I think he said. And I want to tell you about slave politics. I got the ancestry here with me tonight, I say, I say. In all that ways you not God, he will direct your path. And as we move down to Texas, to Mississippi, down to Florida, and across length this breath in Washington, D.C., and we're in Washington, state of Washington, where the, where the fire was, the fire up in California, this is part of the divine plan. And the ancestor telling me, uh, Bishop, it's a reason why this stuff happening. And they telling me that tonight. And they told me, Bishop, let them look and we'll do the rest. All you got to do is go to YouTube and look at me. And whatever you, you ask, it's going to be granted to you. I say, I say, I say. Now, some of you might get scared, but I'm going back to the ancestor. I'm going back to where we come from. This is what our ancestors used to do. So I'm going back to our ancestors. And we're going to take back what the devil stole. Marguerite, we're going to take back. Faith, we're taking back. We're taking back what the devil stole. Come on, put them hands together. We're reversing all that the devil tried to do. Mm -hmm. Mother love down in Yazoo City. I'm Renee, I'm praying for you tonight. We're taking back all that the devil stole tonight. We're standing tall, taking back what all he stole. We're taking it back. Take it back. Okay, Faith, we're taking it back, Peaches. Okay, Shirley, we're taking it back. Patty, we're taking it back. Diane, we're taking it back. You can have my peace. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw it to you now. 
I want to tell you, you want everything back that the devil stole. It's coming. I feel the Holy Ghost feeling in the name of the Almighty God. You take it back. All the devil stole. The murder spirit, the killing spirit. We're asking the spirit to come and move every witchcraft, every evil. The energy of our ancestors sitting on the throne. Okay, God will give it back to you. No, you can't have nothing that the devil try to steal your mind. God gonna restore everything that been stole from you tonight and I want you to know that that God going to restore what the devil stole God going to give it back to you and I want to tell you faith God going to give it back to you surely and I, I want to tell you Louise God got your back and things going to work and, and I want Ned after this show you give me a call I got something to tell you and see, God opened up that door for you. And as we was, the day we was in Maryville all day, and we were talking to some school teachers, giving counsel to school teachers. They were white and black. And I was with them today and prayed early this morning. In this evening, I was with them in Maryville and Shelbyville, in Nana. And God was touching them. They, they didn't know how the Holy Ghost feel. They begin to cry. And I said, don't cry. That's the, that's the truth of God moving on you. And some was healed, and some told about their experience and what happened to them. Tonight, I want to say to you, I'm praying every letter, every telephone call. I'm praying for you. If you got a need, you plant a seed to our ministry. When you plant that seed, the blessing will come to you. Go to my post office box. Not the post office box. It's post office box 289097 Chicago, Illinois. Quickly get your blessing. See, some of you be playing about getting your blessing. And that's where you get cut off. The curse on you and the hex is on you. And the hex was on Pensacola, Florida. Yes. The hex also was on Houston. Now, the curse was already, you know, that the, the 45th president got a curse on him from the Indians. The Native American people put a curse on the White House for what they did, the 5th president and the 45th president. And then the next curse would be on the 55th president. These are the curses that the Native American put down. I want to talk about witchcraft tonight and some of you don't know what witchcraft is some of you don't know uh, what uh, jinx is you don't know what sorcery is and you don't know when you fix or not you don't know you crossed up or not some of you crossed up you crossed up and you messed up and you keep staying close because you keep lying about what's wrong with you I'm telling you tonight, I come tonight, I say, I say, to break the curse and the hexes tonight off of you. If you got a need tonight, you plan to see that I don't know. I want you, let me, let me say this here. I want you to plant that seed. And when you plant that seed, I think Dr. Pittman said, I think she asked for $112 Sunday. And I'm going to continue brunt that seed and when you drop that seed it's, it's some automatic going to come off of you sit down and press them together so you got to be able to pay your way out pray your way out fight your way out pay your way out fight your way out and pray your way out I said you can't do it by yourself you know I was you know, helping a lady 
That lady said, preacher said, don't send you no money. I said, you tell that preacher, you don't know what he's talking about. It take money to move spiritual forces. It take money to buy candles and incense. It take money to buy the, the supplies you need to move that evil up off of you. Now, you think you don't need it. Ain't nobody going to do nothing for you. When you go to the store, you got to have some U.S. dollars to get the stuff to move it up off of you. It might have been on you 20 years. It might be on you the rest of your life if you don't hook up with the right man or the right woman to get it off of you. It'll be on you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And some of you got it on you so bad and you lie so much, you go right back into it and think you're blessed. Ain't nothing happen to you because you lie too much. And you, if you're trying to learn something, you can't learn what God give me. You got to learn what God give you. You can't learn what another prophet would God give a prophet? God, like Prophet John said, say, in all that ways, acknowledge God. And Prophet John said, say, you need to tell me, Bishop, leave them folks alone, because them folks ain't ready. Them folks is still lying and cheating, want something for nothing. And even you want something for nothing, I, like, like Prophet Lorraine said, you don't need to sit at my table. Go sit at somebody else's table. So you sit at my table, you get cursed. That's what she said. If you ain't right, don't even come here. Because I'm talking about lifting the name of the Almighty God up. I'm talking about I'm a spiritual person. And if you're a spiritual woman, a spiritual man, you're going to get spiritual results. And some of you need some results on your job. And some of you hold holding on to a lie. I was talking to a lady today. I said, you need to get rid of all your grandkids. You got grown sons and they got babies and they bring babies in your house. And she said, you're right. And you got to hide your jewelry. You got that. Hey, get rid of all that mess. Let them people go in on. I'm praying for Brother Maurice. Brother Maurice, I see a job coming for you quick, fast, in a hurry. So get ready for that job. And it's going to make a way for you. So don't worry. You'll get that job. And it'll work for you quick, fast, and in a hurry. I just want you to know that. See? See? And as it comes, every door closed will open up. Sometimes you got to tell the devil to back up, but the devil want to block your progress. Amen. So I just want to say that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's on this thing. See, sometimes when you're in the middle of doing this thing, I want to say God is able. Let me pray. Father God, in the name of the Almighty God, we break curses and hexes tonight. Touch every man, every woman. Take the pain and move it. Father, we come east, west, north, and south. We claim your power to heal our people. We claim your power to break the, the yoke and the curse of evil. East, west, north, and south. Bring peace all over the world. Bring peace in Chicago. Bring peace in people's mind. God, yes, Lord. God, we ask you to touch every mind, everybody. Because, Father God, we need you to move in the Lord. Take the drugs out of their mind. Take the drugs out of their heart. In the mighty name of the almighty God, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your healing take place. Father God, somebody needs you tonight for real. Somebody ain't playing. Somebody want to get healed. Somebody got cancer. Somebody got high blood. Somebody got sugar. Somebody need a reverse. Somebody got tumors all in their body. Some of them can't sleep at night. But yet, Lord, move that evil from their mind. Devil, lose your assignment tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we stand with our ancestors, those that came, that was killed, and lit. I'm standing up with them that was raped, them that was stored overboard, those that 20,000 that were killed, and lit. I'm standing for them tonight. I'm standing with the power and the anointing of our ancestors. I say, I say, the spirit of Marcus Garvey, the spirit of Ned Turner, and the spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King, in the spirit of all our ancestors, those we know we don't know, those that that's around us now, and all the archangels and the host of angels tonight, we call them forth to protect and to move evil. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit can't go wrong 
Because God got your back. I think in December, Mary, I told Liam, I said that would be uh, that would be a hurricane. He said, well, that's going to be a couple of hurricanes. It's going to be 12. It might be 21 now. But two that the Spirit brought to me and showed me. So this one in Florida, they got to move out. This one in Houston, Louisiana, they got to move out. And I come back and told the people, I said, the Spirit said that there's going to be one they got to move out. And they're going to tear up and destroy the evil that's been embedded in man's heart. And then they're so materialistic. You're crying over this stuff. It's nothing but material. Let go and let God. Because God can give you that much more if you share with people. If you be honest with people, God will turn all that around and give you a trillion flow. He will give you more than you lost. Body, mind, soul, and spirit. He'll do that tonight. And God bless you tonight. Every letter, every telephone call, every expression of love, I'm praying. I'm praying for you, Nene. I'm also praying for you, Barbara. And I want to tell you, Pat, I'm praying for you, Sister Smith, right down in, in Yazoo City. Mother Love, I'm praying for you. Sister Alberta, I'm praying for you. Sister Bonnie, I'm praying for you. And I want you to know that God is able to do anything with that. No fear you in God. I share, I share. I, I got a letter here. And this young lady from Atlanta, she's a bishop. My mother died, and she left me this house. I don't really want the house. I want to know what she want me to do with it, okay? I'm going to tell you, Ida, this, this is Ida. Ida, I'm talking to you tonight. I read over the letter and I prayed over it. And when your mother come in the, in the queue, she said, Bishop, tell my daughter the land and the property worth something. It ain't time to sell right now. Finish college and come back to me a little later on. Pay the tax and keep paying them, and it's going to be all right. I say, I say. So I'll birth the one you know all is well. Thank you, Cancer. Uh, I'm praying for you, Mother Love. God bless you down in Yazoo City. And I'll be down in Yazoo City uh, shortly. I'll be down through there, praying and administering. And also, I'll be through uh, picking to see Sister Hattie and see uh, Sister Anderson. I'll be there praying for you. And we can cheer some things on. Amen. Tell the Lord thank you. God is able to do anything. There's no failure in God tonight. And I want you to let go and let God. And as I stand tonight, I say, I say, everything going to 